In this problem, we're going to calculate the weighted average cost of capital for a company that has three types of capital, long-term debt in the form of corporate bonds, common equity, and preferred equity. All right. So to do the weighted average cost of capital, start with type of capital. We've got debt or long-term debt. We've got preferred equity and we have common equity. By the way, most firms do not issue preferred stock. It's fairly rare. It is a combination. It has a combination of the features of debt and common stock. It has most of the disadvantages of both and few of the advantages. And so we don't see that much preferred stock actually issued except in certain types of firms. Uh, utilities, regulated industries. Preferred stock is technically equity because if you if you miss a payment, you're not you haven't promised the payment. You've promised the you haven't guaranteed the payment. You've sort of promised it, but you can suspend it without the owner having a a, a uh, recourse other than to wait until you get around to paying it. <clears throat> with debt, if you miss an interest payment, the, you can be forced into bankruptcy and forced to liquidate assets to pay off those debts. And with common stock, that's just your, your owners of the firm who have a residual claim on the assets of the firm after all the other creditors have lined up and collected, including the preferred shareholders. All right, so to do the weighted average cost of capital, And I've got the type of capital. And each of the types of capital is going to have a different weight and a different cost. Then I multiply the weight times the cost and then add them all together. And that will give me the weighted average cost of capital. The weights given in this problem, down at the bottom, 40% debt is... 40%, preferred stock is 5%, and that would leave the rest, the common equity, at 55%. So the weights have to add up to 100%, and they do. The cost of debt, is the yield to maturity on outstanding debt minus one minus the times one minus the tax rate. All right, so the cost of debt, they have a yield to maturity of 4.4% and the tax rate is 40%. So the, about a 2.64% cost after tax. The preferred equity would be the dividend divided by the price. All right, so it's the same as the discounted cash flow model that we saw in the other problems, except that the growth rate of the dividends is zero. All right, so we got a 7.25 or $7.25 dividend and a price of $90, so there's my cost of preferred. For the cost of common, just tells me it has an expected return of 12.8%. Didn't tell me where that came from, but given in the problem. All right, so multiply the weight times the cost. And then add all the numbers together. And there's your weighted average cost capital, about 8.5%. By the way, there's a shortcut in Excel where you can simply directly multiply the weight times the cost. Called sum product. Sum product just multiplies two arrays together. Sum product cover up the weights you want to multiply times the cost you want to multiply. 
and it'll do the exact same calculation that I'm doing over here by multiplying this times this plus this times this plus this times this there's just a built-in shortcut that'll give you the exact same answer called the sum product function.